Hello there, this is Dr. Choi, and this is Research Methodology class. And today I want to walk you through about how to organize references for your assignment. So many professors give you instructions how to write a script and organize a manuscript. And this is something you need to learn at first, beforehand, to start any assignment. So probably your interest is about medical topics, and I'll give you the example with intermittent fasting. Probably you will search any topics mostly in PubMed. So this is PubMed search window. So I tapped intermittent fasting with phrasing, with a quotation mark. This is called phrasing for letting PubMed know this is just one word. So if you do not use this phrasing, PubMed will consider this as a two words. But if you use this phrasing with a quotation mark, PubMed will consider this is just one word. And let's search. In PubMed search engine, you can find this free PMC articles. And you can check this full text article with the PDF format. And this is just text file, and you can read with the EPUB here, Palm Reader, or you can download the PDF this way. If you like this article, go back and click the site button. This button, click, then you can see the reference here. And please check the format here. This is NLM. You can find AMA, APA. Most professor will ask you between AMA or APA. APA stands for American Psychology Association. AMA, American Medical Association. Actually, this is just nothing, just name of association. Sometimes Harvard or Chicago style, those are press company. And they demanded a certain format, and this is the format. This is the APA text station style. You can see the name of the author. So in the text citation, in the script, you will see this name of the author. By doing that, you can see which author or which school have this kind of the trend or philosophy. So more author-oriented. And this is the style and the reference, of APA style. AME style is a little bit different. Most of the medical journal ask you to organize your reference in AMA style. Over 70%, to me it looks like 90%, most of the medical journals ask you to, to organize in AMA style. In script, you cannot see any author's name, but only thing you can see is this superscript, the numbers. So there's no distraction in reading the article. So author, name of the author is not that important in medical journal. And this is AMA style station. So this order, you can find it, but you don't have to memorize or you can ha have to organize them by with your hand. There is a certain way, and that is what I try to teach here. So let's go back to PubMed and click AMA style, then copy. You can do this, or you can click copy either way. And this is a sample script I prepared. And let's suppose you are putting that reference here, then click insert and footnote. So you can organize this way. This is automatically generated citation in AMA style. So you can see the superscript here. So in case of PubMed, this is not a problem. Just click any article of your interest. And you can find the citation button here, format AMA style, and copy. And go to document, script, and put where you put it. Insert, full note, and paste it. What if your professor asks you to write the reference in EndNote? I will tell you at the end. We can organize as an EndNote format with just a couple of clicks. I prefer full note.
because when I read your assignment, I can check which article you actually use as a reference. But many professors ask you to write organizing with end mode. So this is a case of PubMed, but sometimes you use just Google search. So I use this specific tag, file type PDF with intermittent fasting here in you know, Google. By doing that, you can search only the PDF files. It can be quite handy when you search medical articles and the brochures. You can use PPT instead of PDF. Then you can search only the PowerPoint files like this. So if you download, so download it here, you can use this presentation file. Or you can use DOC, then you will search only document files. So editable document files. So download it again. So click. You can see this editable downloaded document files. But in this case, I will use PDF tag because most of the medical articles are written in PDF. So in this way, you can find some paid journals or patient brochures. So let's see. Uh, safety and efficacy of intermittent fasting for weight loss. So this is the from the journal Nutrition Today. So this is one way of finding journals. If you like this journal and if you want to cite this, please check the DOI number. All the articles these days have DOI number. So copy it. Copy. Please go to the website my Bib.com, Bib is by bibliography. And I left the web address for this mybib.com as a comment. Please check that and click AMS style and paste what you copied here in the actual journal DOI number. So go to the mybib.com here, then paste this. But you can see the error message here because HTTP is not included. So include HTTP and search. Then you can see this reference in AMA style. Just click and copy to clipboard. Then you have this reference. I'll just use copy with my keyboard and go to the script you are writing. And here, again, insert footnote and paste. Then third footnote is attached as a superscript here. Sometimes you use Google Scholar. So I searched intermittent fasting in Google Scholar. And this is from NIH government. And let's click it. Then you can find this Science Direct Elsevier published article. You can find this site button here, but you cannot see the proper format. If you click this text, this is not the format you want. Actually, this is a good format. This is a good format, but what you actually need is AMA or APA format. In this case, just copy this DOI number, same manner. So copy, copy, command C, and go to the script. And let's put it here. Insert, footnote, paste. No. Copying DOI number and go to mybib.com. So start again. Paste, search. And then this reference showed up. Go to the script and let's put it here. Insert, footnote, and paste it. So usually finding DOI number is not that hard. You can find DOI number anywhere. Sometimes you may cannot see the DOI number, then just copy this title and Google it. Then you can find these articles in many different sources. So if you find PubMed, 
that article, then you can use this site button. Or sometimes you will see the actual publisher of the journal. This is actually, uh, yes, the, the journal which published this article. Then you will find the DOI number here too. So it is not hard. And many cases, in most of the journal, apply the citation button. So let's try to find out where is the citation for this article. Here, citation export. Click, then Bible text. And note, this is the certain application to organize the citations, but you do not have this one. So let's stick to this method. Copy, DOI number, and go to mybib.com. Then start again, paste, search, click, then you have this reference. Same thing. And what if you use the Google Scholar, some other type of article, effect of intermittent fasting on health, aging. So click, so New England Journal of Medicine. So probably there is a button, yes, there's a citation button, but all these are for the application. So close it. Then let's find a DOI number here. You can find DOI number here. So copy, then go to this automatic bibliography citation generator, AMA, and paste here. So this one do not has HTTP2. So copy, and instead of DOI, paste this. And search. And you have this article, click and copy. And let's go to the page, the script you are working on. And let's attach that here. So fifth one. So let's suppose you have many footnote here and there. So you want to make this as an end note. Then click this footnote anywhere, anywhere, any footnote. And you can check the inspector window here. Sometimes it, it is text file, text section, or footnote section. So click footnote and change this type as endnote. Then all the footnote goes away to where? To the end of the document. Then you can add the title here, references, and give a style, headline. And this is how you organize endnote. So I hope you enjoy this class and please use this walkthrough when you write your assignment. Have a good one. Bye.